up? It's your girl Billy Sunshine. I'm here with Melanie Fiona. Yay! Yay. We got love, love. High love, five. Love. High five. Okay, so. How are you? How's everything? I'm great. I'm great. I'm great. I'm uh, busy and excited. We got the album coming out, so um, I'm just I'm getting ready to just hit the road and, and just get prepared for all that. Yeah, so yeah, I know you're really excited, like really excited, that going crazy. I am. You know, as as a new artist, I've got my you know the release date November 10th in stores, and then doing an exclusive um, online release um, October 20th. You know, with, with iTunes, so it's it's really great. You know, as an artist, when you work towards something and then it just finally it's, it's getting out there. It's like mm -hmm. it's a dream come true. So, like the grind pays off. It like, does. It does. It's it's it's, a, it's as we say, a marathon, not a sprint. <laughs> like that. Yeah. He like that one. So let's talk about the humble beginnings. You know, parents. Your mom's loved music. Yeah. Your father played guitar. Yeah. So that was like a major influence for you. Yeah, right? definitely. My, my parents, I think, are the foundation for the influence for for the music that I do, the music that I fell in love with, what made me fall in love with music. Like you said, my dad played guitar. My mom, she was just always singing along to like Whitney Houston and Barbara Streisand. But soul music was just big in my house because my family's from Guyana, and and outside of like the you know reggae, calypso, soca. My parents, like, soul music is the next big thing that they, you know, were very big into. So I was a kid listening to Sam Cooke and, you know, Nat King Cole and the Drifters. Just great music. So for me, that was kind of what the foundation was built off of. And, you know, as I got older, I always was doing music. I did a lot of things. I mean, I did sports. I did in school and, and you know, plays and productions and things like that. But when I was about... 15, 16, I kind of was like, you know, like, what is it that I do that is me? And I mean, I played sports and I was good at those and I was like, okay. But it was music that actually I loved. I absolutely love music. And I was like, you know, I really should get into that for real and really explore what that could be for me. Mm -hmm. So I started um, working locally in Toronto with producers and writers. And, um, and then I uh, met my executive producer from California, from Title IX. And I kind of just packed up and was like, yo, I'm gonna really just go and try and do this. And I left, went down to California and just started grinding it out, just really figuring out what it is to become a, like a real artist yeah. as a full-time career. So that, that, that's how that started for me. I mean, so music is in your blood though, so it's kind of predestined in a sense. I think so. <laughs> I always feel like what you do is always predestined. Mm -hmm. It's just a matter of recognizing, I think, what that is, you know, mm -hmm. and, and for me, I think, like, I know where I'm from, it's a, it's a real step to kind of be like, all right, I'm going to leave Canada and go mm -hmm. to the States with nothing, um, you know? And for me, like, that was a real risk, but I feel like, you you know, no risk, no reward. So yeah, I just kind of right. had to do it. So, you know, like, in music, every um, region has, like, this time where it's like, boom, pow. Yeah. You know, like, you know, there was time with the Latin explosion, mm -hmm. and everybody. Now, it's like, you... Drake, got Colin Moreau coming Colin up. Colin Moreau. Um, Carnell Fisher, he's been out for a while, yeah. but now it's like everybody's putting a face in the name. Mm -hmm. Like, do you feel this like the needing to take over? Like, yeah, I, I feel like there's definitely a movement happening right now with, um, with Canadian artists. And like, everybody that you named is not just you know, an artist that I know, they're, we're actually like personal friends, so it's a really great feeling to see people who you know have been doing this for a long time, and we're all just kind of meeting up at the same parts and same point in our career, so I, I it's it's a good feeling. I think for us, you know, people like Cardinal have been doing it for so long, you know, there are the other artists like Tamia and Deborah Cox, mm -hmm. and his female vocalist Julie Black, and Socrates is, you know, rappers who've been doing it in the game, and, and I know for me, what they did and what they accomplished really paved the way for us to be able to do it. Yes. And I just feel like, you know, whatever we're doing right now is really putting like a spotlight on Canada and Toronto specifically with what we have to offer. So it's, it, it feels great to be a part of a movement mm -hmm. all at the same time. I'm like, this is y'all time yeah, right here. Yeah, this is it. Yeah. Like, it's really taking off for me. I, I'm a big fan of everybody. Cool, movie, thank so you. It's a cool thing. So the album, The Bridge. About to, I'm about to hit hard. <laughs> like, why did you name it The Bridge? The Bridge, for me, um, there is no song on the album that has anything to do with bridges. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, the reason why I named it The Bridge was because I wanted the album to have a meaning behind what it meant as a body of work. Because for me, it, it, it is not your typical R&B album. It is not your yeah. typical pop album. 
I don't think I'm your typical artist. So for me, it's it was bridging the gap between all these things that kind of seem different, but they're really all the same. You can just show that they can all be together. So, mm -hmm. you know, it's soul music mixed with R&B, hip hop, reggae, rock, you know, mm -hmm. pop in one album. It's it's music for old people and young people. It's music that blends, you know, music from a certain time era to a current time era. It's music that is made for anybody all over the world, black, white, you know, Asian, brown, whatever you mm -hmm. are. And that's really what I wanted it to be. I wanted it to be a bridge that would bring people together through okay. music. Yeah. So that that was really the significance behind it. That's the sub. I like that. Thank I like you. that whole now and then for me, you know, being being West Indian culture, mm -hmm. growing up in Toronto, it's a very multicultural city. Like the, it was really reflective of what influenced me culturally and musically. So I just wanted it to be kind of like, you know, very symbolic to, to what influenced me in my life. Okay, so let's talk about um, you. I went on tour with Kanye at one point, mm -hmm. and you're, you had opened up. And, yeah, know, I did. how was that? That was that was the one of the most amazing experiences I think as an artist of my life probably the best performing experience of my life and not because I felt like I was at my best mm -hmm. but the opportunity to to be a new artist with no album no single nobody knows who you are and then have Kanye West give you the co-sign like yeah I'm gonna take you on tour was really great for me to feel like my music was strong and it was in the right direction mm -hmm. and and he believes in it so you know I learned a lot from from watching him and and just being in that whole experience overseas and opening myself up to a whole new market as a new artist overseas in Europe. So um, it was definitely the best. It was a great experience. And, and I know it had to be like. I'd always said I wanted to work with Kanye, but just I didn't even expect ever for him to be like, yeah, well, let's go on tour. Mm -hmm. I always thought it would be starting off at studio level, but mm -hmm. you know, we, we he totally just took me in and, and gave me that opportunity. So shout yeah. out to Yeezy for, for that look. Like you see, he was ready. He seen the greatness. And the thing is, I never even met him till the first day of tour. Wow. He just off of the music alone, like we had never even met, and uh, it, it was a it was a great great look, great look. That's, that is a great look. Yeah. Great. Hey, what's up? This is Melanie Fiona, and I don't know about you, but I'm very 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 addicted to music. For all the real music addicts out there, be sure to keep it locked right here on MadOnly.com.